and then you're grateful to the pandemic. You're really happy that it happened. It had to slow you down. You had to be jobless. You had to be at home. You had to disengage yourself and you're from the pleasure of senses, from all these things that are distracting you. You had to disconnect from it to come here to this one, to discover this one. The love affair. And this is all new life. This is a complete different realm. So the more this happens, the higher become your vibration. You start vibrating in a higher frequency. You're vibrating here. And the shit is happening here. The world is going through chaos and whatever is happening is here. But you're vibrating here. You see it from where you're at. You can observe it. They can't see you. And you're living in the same space, but they're not running into each other. It's the same. You're occupying the same space, but this one cannot touch you because you have arisen above it. It's diseases, it's issues, it's Whatever issues it is, it doesn't touch you because you're not vibrating here. You're vibrating here. You have ascended to fifth dimensional consciousness, which we're going to have a specific workshop for that in three weeks with specific activations and tools and methods to raise your vibrations to this other level. So we'll get into that too. But that's how you get to it. Being quiet, deactivating the mind and this associating with the samsara, the world of thoughts. I remember back in the day, we were in Lakhna in Indranagar with the master, Papaji. And then one day, Papaji, with his entourage, he went to, to the city. He was living in the outskirts called Indranagar. And then he went to Lakhna. And then the next day, when he came to Satsang, somebody asked him, Papaji, what were you doing? You went to the city. He said, I went to see... I went to the chai place I used to go to. I read the news. I was reading the news, the magazine, stuff like that. It's, he said, I wanted to know what's happening in samsara. I wanted to know what happens in the world. What's going on in the world of illusion? I, wanted, I was curious. What, what are the news? So he went and tapped into it and checked it out and he came back. Because he was just had no interest in it. He was very disinterested. Ramana Maharshi lived from into from the late eighteenth century till mid nineteen fifties. This was a very strong time in India. Gandhi was living in that time. It was the Second World War. Japanese were threatening to attack India and taking British territory, India. There was a lot going on. And Ramana Maharshi was completely disinterested. If you check him out on YouTube, watch his videos. There's a, lot, a very good series of different videos made by David Godman regarding Ramana Maharshi, Papaji, Ramana Maharshi had no interest, zero interest. He was just hanging out. People were bringing him, coming to him with a lot of fear, worry, anxiety. He just was like, not interested in the world, whatever. Oh, India is going to be attacked. Japanese government taking over. They're attacking southern India. He was like, whatever. 
Gandhi is going to the movements. Da, 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 da. Don't you want to meet Gandhi? He was like, yeah, if he comes here to visit me, I'll meet him. I have no intention of going anywhere. He was completely disinterested in the world. And that's the attitude you want to have if you want to get free. Otherwise, you're doomed to go downhill into the world of fear and worry and anxiety because it's very real. And there is no liberation in it. You have to find the liberation within yourself. But in order to do that, you have to give something up. You have to discover the truth of who you are. And you are not who you think you are. I'll tell you that. Who you think you are is a false imagination. And you are not that. Who you really are is beyond your imagination. But it doesn't matter what I say and how many times I repeat it. You have to experience it yourself. You have to get a glimpse of it yourself. I can only create the platform and I can only be in this place of transmission, transmitting it as much as I can. The transmission of the wisdom of the truth, but you're the recipient. So it depends how open you are and how willing you are to see it for yourself. But if you get a glimpse of it, then that's the beginning because it's very addictive because it's love. It's the real thing. It's the true love and freedom comes with it. You give yourself a chance to become free forever out of the nightmare. So it's worth it. Since we have nothing to lose. <laughs>